Hey guys, welcome back. Lady Tolkien here. We're just going to continue on from where we were last time. Uh, we got, we finally got to a safe point after learning about all that information about Evelyn. Um, so uh, we're just going to jump right back in again. Uh, let's see. I was thinking about making some more flame just because I had extra stuff. Um, if I can remember what it was. I think it was... Yeah, I think it was strong... And then it was solid fuel, I think. Yeah. And then, just for funsies, we're going to make a supplement and a chem fluid. That makes psychostimulants. Um, and then a chem fluid and an herb. health I think it's chem fluid solid fuel make burner fluid yeah we got some separating agents if we end up needing more stuff we can do that. So we've got quite a bit of ammo here. Thank goodness. We kind of need it. So um, the only other thing I thought about making was more neuro rounds. Might need them for later. I mean, all it takes is some strong... Oh, it's the supplements. Okay, I see. We'll wait on that. We might find some more. So anyway, good enough for now. More enhanced gun ammo. Something we'll go down there. Always wary. I'm getting blown up once already. I don't trust anything. Fluid. Is that it? Okay. Ew. That looks like it's pulsing. Is it going to let us through here? It is. Okay. Let's see if there's anything back here. Besides green mold. Oh, wait. Mag ammo! See, this is why I explore everything. Mag ammo we can't make, and we've found quite a bit of it just searching in little unexpected areas. Oh my gosh, it scared the living piss out of me.
Holy cow, that scared me. So, I didn't feel like we could just ignore them all, so that's why I killed them. Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go here. Just loops around. Back on my road. The stress. Yeah. So we're okay for now, I guess. <sighs> I don't know. Wait a minute. Ethan, you suck. Oh, 
Holy cow. That was awful. Oh my gosh, I can go up here. What the heck? Okay. That's weird. Okay. Put that back there again. Mm, I wonder how burner fluid would have done against those. Oh, excuse me. What is this? I thought there was something sitting there. Yeah, because it gave us burner fluid, so I wonder if you can use those. I don't know how effective it would be, though. But that would have been interesting. Okay, I think that's it. Just go through. Oh yeah, I was assume so. We can't do anything here. Okay. Guess we're squeezing through. All right. Now where are we? Strong fluid. Whoa. Mind map. Wait, so it gives us the mind map when we're like already halfway through the mine? How is that fair? That's like weird. I don't like that. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's the, okay, so the house leads into the mine. That's interesting. All right. You're a bobblehead. Where are you? There's that. That must be Evelyn. Because there's her chair. Yeah, see? It's the grandma. Where is this bobblehead? Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. So it must be giving us flashbacks. Okay, can't go through there. I'm assuming we're probably at the end of the game. Yeah, see, this is uh, the picture we saw at the beginning of the game when we came through here. It's a picture of the grandma. It says E001 on the back. She was experiment um, one with the successful experiment one with the ne necrotoxin. So I'm assuming that's what that is. No, how do I always accidentally lock myself out? We're back where it all started. Mm. So interesting.
There's Evelyn. Yes. Can I help you? Okay. This is your fault. Mm. Why am I seeing this? Back downstairs again. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, Mommy. Oh, God, you shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Does it want to be my daddy? So I really enjoy how it's like looping us back through the memories, show us exactly what was going on. So obviously it shows that Evelyn was behind it. She was the one making uh, Mia come after you, things like that. The control she had is kind of interesting. Well, now they have that in the way. I like how this little dollhouse that used to be in the basin is now in here in the fireplace. <laughs> So yeah, we must be like right close to the end. We're just gonna explore a little bit. Eat up some time. I uh I'm wanting to save the <laughs> um, okay. Yep, because this is where we came in to start the game. Oh man, this is a beautiful game. Oh, what the heck? She was not there before. That's a little creepy. Just a weird doll. sworn we would have been able to get to like a box to get some ammo and stuff before this it's weird I didn't see one anywhere though I'm gonna have to see if I can go back and look for one because there's no way I can go against her with what I got now That's weird to me. Oh, well, never mind. Now it's not letting me go back. What the heck? There's no way I'm going to be able to be here with the stuff I have on me now. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it changes once I get close to her. I don't know. Oh. 
Yeah, that's weird. I don't have any ammo, so I don't know. Well, this is not gonna go good. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. I just wasted that. Get up. Come on, Ethan. Yeah, see, it's the old lady. But I find that so weird. I wasn't able to get my ammo or anything. Yeah, so I'm kind of screwed. I'm going to die because I don't have my... I was saving my magnum for this and my, all my stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of in trouble. So I don't have anything. I guess I didn't die. Oh, okay. Well, that was interesting. So I was going to save all my neuro rounds for that, so I'm so confused. What? Oh, worst time to reload. No! Reload! Dude, reload! Okay, wow, she was way easier than I thought. I don't know why I was saving up all my magnum, all my shotgun, and all my neuro rounds for the boss in the end when she was so simple. I beat her with shotgun and some machine gun. That was it. That's weird to me. I would have thought it would have been way, way harder. Huh. Interesting.
I'm Redfield. <laughs> Chris. I'm glad we found you. He's so, ye like, I don't know, he just looks so young. The fuck took you guys so long? But he's actually older. Sounds weird to me. Another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing me. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. I think this is just the credits. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to mute it. So um, I have about 10 minutes to give my opinion on the game. Um, so obviously finished it. I said once before that I've played this before. So I can't really um, give a completely like uh, new review on it. Um, but it's been a couple years since I played and I have to say this, it has to be one of my favorite horror games. Um, I've always been a really huge fan. I'm actually going to turn it down a little cause, um, it's too quiet. I'll just use it as background. Um, but, um, I have been a huge fan of... Resident Evil for a very long time. And so um, I know it had been a while since Resident Evil 6 came out before this one came out. I knew they were putting a ton of work into this one and they were saying how it was going to be completely revamped, different kind of design, different kind of layout, story, things like that. And um, I have actually not heard any negative reviews about this game. Um, my husband loved it. Everybody I talked to that's played loves this game. And most of the reviews I've seen online love this game. Um, I know Resident Evil 5 is when a lot of people said it started to go downhill in terms of quality and gameplay. And then um, a lot of people have said that Resident Evil 6 was absolute trash. Um, I have not played Resident Evil 6 on single. My husband and I have played co-op on several of the story modes before. But it, that has been a really, really, really long time since we played that. So that's another one I'm going to try to replay. Um, see how it is on single player. But um, compared to those two games, I know a lot of people were so excited for this game and said how much of a huge difference it was between those two and this one. I mean, this turned into a first-person shooter and it has way more horror elements to it. Obviously gave me plenty of jump scares. Um, but th the creators of Resident Evil are just pure geniuses when it comes to horror thriller games. Um, I enjoyed this one so much, even replaying it after a couple years, it doesn't lose its playability. And, um, I think that is a fantastic for a game. Um, all the best games always have its replayability. Even months later, years later, when you play it again, there are certain things you just, you can remember. And there are other things that you don't remember. And um, I think that's what makes a really fantastic game is the ability to draw the same players back in and play it again um, and get different outcomes. Like um, 
there's not too many different outcomes for this. I know there's, I think there's only like two endings, whether you pick me or pick Zoe to save um, with the serum, but it's just, um, there's so many different chapters and so many different things. And then I know there's DLCs for this game that explain a little bit more, but I don't have the DLCs for my version, so I won't be able to put those up. I just know there's some that explain, um, let's see, you get to play as, uh, daddy's brother I think he lives in the swamp then there's one where you get to play as one of the cameramen from the very very beginning um um tape that we had watched you get to play some sort of card game against Lucas that is one um you are one of the other cameramen I think and you're locked up in one of the bedrooms and you're supposed to find a way to get out without alerting mom um and then there's like a this weird happy birthday one where you're supposed to go around um getting rid of some of the molded um, for daddy and bringing him gifts or something. I'm not exactly sure how it goes, but I know there's like four or five different DLCs, but um, I won't be posting those. Um, but anyway, this, like I said, really good game. Um, doesn't obviously tickle everybody's fancy, but me in general, I've always enjoyed the horror realm and especially Resident Evil. Um, this game, I'm trying to think, I think it came out in 2017, 2018. So it's it's been a good three years since this came out. And uh, I know Resident Evil 8 he is coming out here in about a month and a half. Actually, two months, actually. So um, this one was a good playthrough for me to go back in again and get used to the way the camera works, how the game set up. And our main character, Ethan Winters, is... Uh, supposedly the main um, character in Resident Evil 8 as well. So uh, got back used to him. And um, so we should be pretty prepared for Resident Evil 8. I've seen the trailer for it. Um, I've seen um, a couple um, bigger YouTube names playing uh, tiny little blurps that were given to them to play. Um, and the game for... RE8. It looks really good. I'm really excited to play. Um, and it's going to be a completely fresh gameplay. I don't plan on um, peeking at anybody else's walkthroughs of it. None of the other big YouTubers. I'm going to play fresh in my mind and see how it goes. So that's going to be really interesting. But anyway, uh, if I had to rate this game, I would definitely, definitely be giving it a 10 out of 10. Uh, in all aspects, horror, fantastic. Uh, graphics, absolutely flawless. Uh, the way the game is set up, perfection. Um, really, the only problem I have with it is, um, to me, if you're going to go through a game, I would think the final boss would be harder than a lot of the things you've beaten in the game. But I felt like I should not have been able to defeat Evelyn with, I don't know, 100 uh, machine gun ammo, five shotgun and a couple handgun. And then I know obviously the, the Albert um, Magnum at the end is just for the end of the game. But I mean, up till that point when I had her in the house, I don't think I should have been able to defeat her with such little ammo. Um, I mean, then to me, what's the point of, um, you know, saving up my Magnum and saving up my flame and um, Nora rounds. I was expecting to have to use those, which reminds me of another thing I didn't particularly like. Going through the mine, I would have thought that if we were going to go right into defeating Evelyn, it should have given me not only just that save spot at the end of the mines, but it should have given me a chest. And I don't know if maybe I'm blind. Maybe there was one there, but I did not see one. Um, I might have to go back into my footage and see if maybe I am just blind, and I could be. But I would think that um, they would allow you to get back into your... Uh, stuff again so you could get those things otherwise I would have had to get it way back when we um, had just finished um, reading all about Evelyn the previous save point I would have had to get my guns then and I don't like that so I'll have to go back and see if maybe there was one there and I just didn't see it but if there wasn't I think that's a giant flaw I would I mean if it's going to prepare you for the end, then it might as well let you have the guns you want. But that's just, just my opinion. But definitely replayability. I've only ever played this on easy. I know there's a uh, like a medium and a hard. And I think there's like a nightmare mode or whatever. And I know there's tons of... Um, I only have about half of the achievements unlocked. 
Uh, I unlocked a couple through this playthrough, so I'm really happy about that, especially some of the harder ones. Um, I was hoping to find all the bobbleheads, but I didn't do that, so I must have been missing a couple. But the files, if only 2% of gamers can unlock that achievement, that's pretty hard to get. So I'm pretty glad I got that one. Um, but anyway, uh, my time's about to run out. Let's see if I can skip this. That's eh, not going to let me skip it. I was hoping to be able to show you guys what it... Oh, yeah, it's going to let me skip it. Because I think it just brings you right back to the main menu again. Well, maybe. But you're going to let me skip. Oh, there must be a second part. Okay, so here we go. So this is my stats. So, like, difficulty easy. It took me 8 hours, 45 minutes to finish. Uh, I didn't die at all, thank God. I only got 16 out of 20 of the bobbleheads. So there's four missing somewhere. Um, it says I only got 17 out of 18 coins, but I think I, I thought I got them all. I don't know. So 32 out of 32 files. Open the item box 65 times. Healing items 16. Stabilizers 2. Steroids 4. So, yeah. Um, that was pretty good. So, yeah. So now we unlocked Madhouse and we got the Albert, which is going to be back in the game once we get... Excuse me, back to the other thing. Oh, and then I forgot about this content. I think this one came out for free, so I might end up playing that, but I probably won't post it. But anyway, um, before I run out of time, I just want to say I will be back um, either later this week or uh, beginning of next week with um, a new game. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I'm super stoked to play it. I'm a huge fan of this series. My sister got me into it, so I got to give her all the credit. Um, but I will be playing that starting next up until RE8 comes out. As soon as that comes out, I am playing that. But until then, I'll be playing this other game. So if you guys want to see what it is, you will have to stay tuned for the next episode. Other than that, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.